Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm from eWrench.com. This demonstration about installing the Raspberry Pi operating system, Raspbian Wheezy, on SD card using Ubuntu 12 desktop. The outcomes for this video include download Raspbian Wheezy, verify the checksum, that your download is correct, extract the image file, attach an SD card, secure digital to a USB adapter, Download Image Writer from the Ubuntu Software Center and write the image to the SD card. Requirements SDHC, a secure digital high capacity type SD card with 2 gigabytes of storage. Techs have told me other types besides HC work, but this is the recommended type. I got mine out of a camera. Adapter SD card to USB stick, or sometimes these come with a cable. Just an Ubuntu 12 desktop. You may use other computers, but this video covers writing an image with an Ubuntu desktop computer. Additional info, you've got the Raspberry Pi website. And if you want to make a case for your Raspberry Pi out of some printable cardboard, there's a site there. The video does not cover how to make the case. Of course, I've got disclaimer. I try to do the best I can, but sometimes there's some things left out. I may le accidentally leave some things out or forget something. So anyway, that's there just because the lawyers like it. To download the Raspberry Wheezy operating system, go to raspberry.pi, raspberrypi.org, download section, and we see we can use torrent or a direct download. In this case, I'll download the zip file. Click on here, and you'll be direct to another page where it says you'll be redirected in five seconds. You want to wait and here we'll say save the file, click OK, bring this back up. Now you'll say 12 minutes remaining. I've got a very slow uh, connection today. Come back when this is fully downloaded and verify the checksum. Once the image is downloaded, let's verify the image using command line. In this case I'll go up here dash home use the terminal. We'll bring the terminal over here so it'll make it a little bit easier to see uh, when I copy some things. So we're going to use the SHA, SHA1 SUM command and well actually let's go to CD downloads directory. We'll do an LS and there's the uh, raspians.file so we're going to use the SHA-1 SUM command and rather than typing all that out we'll just copy, go back here, paste, pipe it into grep and then we're going to copy the checksum, copy paste, hit enter. It'll take a few minutes to run the the checksum and if it prints out you have a match. If nothing is printed out there is no match and you should download your file again. Once we verify that the image is correct let's extract the image. We need to we can go ahead and close this. Go to our home folder Go to Downloads, right click, and we'll just extract it here. Of course this is going to take some time too. Of course once we've extracted the image, here's the image file. Next I'll show you the hardware on which this image file is going to be written to. Here's an SD card which was a spare I got from my camera. While the USB adapter below looks like a simple USB stick, many USB adapters come with a cable attached. To connect the two, simply plug in the SD card into the USB adapter using the end with an angle in it to guide you for correct fit. Once your SD card is attached, simply plug in your USB adapter into your computer. If you are using an Ubuntu virtual machine in VirtualBox, to create your image, your uh, Raspberry 
Weezian image, simply select your machine, which in this case is Raspberry 2 pp one go to USB, select this add filter, and in this case it's generic USB CRW. Click on that, make sure it shows up there, click OK. Then start your virtual machine. We'll come back when it starts. Once you're logged on, go to the virtual box menu item up here. It says devices, USB devices, and make sure that generic USB, in this case, make sure the generic USB 2.0 is selected. That's right here. Well, it's right here. Next step is to go and let's download a program that will make writing this image easier. Go to Ubuntu Software Center. It's a program called Image Writer. Here it is. Tool to write image files to USB keys. Install. Authenticate. Once it's installed, we can simply close it. Now that Image Writer is installed, we simply open up Ing Image Writer. Of course, it's going to ask for your password because you may have to uh, write some stuff so it just can't be a simple user. So they will write the image. And we're going to go to, in the download section, the image file that we created. Click Open. And generic SD, SDB, that's the device, write to device. Click right to device and you get your warning. Click OK. Now this is going to take a while and we'll come back when it's finished and take a look at the files and I'm also going to talk a little bit about the fact that this only writes uh, two gigabytes and leaves the other six gigabytes of this eight gigabyte uh, SD card uh, blank or in, on, with the original file system. Once the files have been written to the disk and you get a success, simply click OK. And let's check and see what we have here. Go to the home folder and we'll go to the 7.9 gigabyte file system which is the uh, and you'll see we've got all these files sitting right here that are actually written on to the disk or I'm sorry written on to the uh, SD card. Now one thing that I want to point out here is let's go to dash home and we'll just take a look with the gpart editor And we'll take it. We're going to take a look at that SD card, and we're going to select the SD card. And you'll notice right here that it's only used 1.75 or, or less than two gigabytes, and this is unallocated. Now I can change this right here from uh, GPAR TED, but I'm not going to do that because it's very easy to make a mistake. Uh, but it's very it's very simple when you first start Raspberry Pi. There's a on the menu item there is an item that says allocate the entire SD card. Just go ahead and do that when you first start Raspberry Pi or the this the Wheezy operating system, Res Raspbian Wheezy operating system in your Raspberry Pi. Just make sure you don't forget to uh, allocate the whole SD card. And that's pretty much it for uh, installing the operating system on an SD card. Thank you.